10 TV's Jason Frazier is live in the newsroom tonight with more on the effort going on in Lancaster. Jason? Well, Chuck, the Franklin County Coroner's Office reports that heroin was present in 21% of cases where people died as a result of drugs last year. Lancaster Police in Fairfield County say they are also seeing a slight uptick in heroin use this year. And one mother we spoke with tonight says she's trying to do something about it. For several years, Carol Petrie Thompson says her son Josh has tried to overcome his addiction to heroin. We've lost a lot of respect and, you know, trust that used to be there. You know, with him being in and out of jail and in and out of rehab. She says she has seen others in Lancaster become addicted to heroin as well, and it concerns her. People that are addicted, they do the craziest things to feed their addiction. It would seem to be fueling an upswing in property crimes, which would be thefts, break-ins, and occasionally some violent crimes. And they're looking for money and or items that they can take to pawn places. But Thompson says she's one of the few people that's working on turning their pain into action. She says these are pictures from last year's Take Back Our Town rally, which she helped organize. We're just about education and awareness and prevention. She says she's also launched the group SOLACE. What SOLACE stands for is surviving our losses and continuing it every day. And it's a support group for anyone that's lost a loved one due to drug addiction. Thompson says she's also created the Hope Anti-Heroin Group on Facebook to help neighbors find solutions to end the heroin problem. And we want to be proactive. We want to get out into this community. She hopes that one day the heroin problem in Lancaster will be history. We can't just sit around and do nothing. You know, we have to be the change that we want to see. And tonight, Lancaster police say the heroin problem is an issue that all departments across central Ohio are facing. Meanwhile, Thompson plans to hold another rally later this year. Reporting live tonight in the newsroom, Jason Frazier, 10TV News.